What can keep a group happy, productive and working well together? Humility. Depending on how you see it, that word humility can be a put off. We think of the bowing and scraping, hand wringing, cringing character, who underneath it is really quite arrogant. That's false humility, worn like a mask to cover the real, frustrated self. In the next three minutes or so, let's look again at what humility means. The Christians in Philippi were showing signs of division. They were not pulling together. The Apostle Paul, in prison for his faith, wrote to them out of his own kind of isolation to try to set them back on the right track. Paul realised that pride was getting the way of harmonious living and united action. Pride was forcing open cracks in their community. The signs of pride may not have been too different to those that we experience today. People's growing unrealistic sense of self-confidence and independence. Pride comes before a fall, as we say. A sense of entitlement, claiming what they see as theirs, or even what is rightly theirs, and ignoring the sensitivities and needs of others. Vain ambition, pushing down others to climb above them. As the antidote to pride, Paul encouraged the Philippians to develop humility. Humility is like a horse being ridden. All that strength and power is controlled and directed for a purpose. Humility is strength under submission, strength in service. Humility means putting another person's needs first. As the Christian writer C.S. Lewis said, Humility is not thinking less of oneself, it is thinking of oneself less. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, it is thinking of yourself less. Our clearest image of humility comes from the hymn which St Paul quotes to the Philippians. It is about Jesus, their prime example, strength and focus. Jesus gave up the rights and privileges of being God and took a lowly existence with humankind, obedient to his father unto death. But then his father raised him to glory. And so we, may we share in that glory given by the Father. Philippians 2 verses 6 to 10. Let the same mind be in you as it was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend. Humility, strength in submission, service of others, living in the example of Christ. Amen.